watches Marlon Taylor get up. He's the biggest sleeper in the building, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's basketball season, and Tremont Waters and Marlon Taylor just executed one of the coolest dunks at LSU in recent memory. So let's take a look at the physics behind that slam dunk. Cleared for takeoff. One-handed jam at the other end. Cleared for takeoff. I love it. You can see that the ball is out of Tremont's hand even before uh, Marlon actually leaves the ground. So as he approaches his launch point, he plants his feet, loads his leg muscles, and now he's going to push off on the floor. The floor reacts in accordance with Newton's third law, pushes against him with a normal force and with friction. He loads his muscles and propels himself forward with an average force of around 400 pounds. He increases his gravitational potential energy, which was converted from kinetic energy upon liftoff, and we can calculate based on his vertical leap, and for Marlin it's about 43 inches, which is just incredible, and his weight around 210 pounds, that his liftoff speed was just over 10 miles per hour. So what's really great about this dunk is that it's, it's complicated by the fact that there's two different projectile motions going on. One is the basketball from the pass, and the other is the dunker himself. And so the timing and judging the distance is extremely important because they need to meet near the apex uh, of the dunk. And so you can see that the pass was a little underthrown, but Marlon was able to reach down with both hands, grab the ball, and still throw it through the rim, which is an incredible dunk. So with Marlon's 43-inch vertical, I think we can look forward to many more spectacular dunks. Now you Taylor right side flushes it down. Marlon Taylor off the trampoline slams it home on another Waters dime.